Araceli Segura and her daughters enjoy a bird's eye view of their neighborhood on their way home from school. Their new aerial commute is a world away from the buses they used to take, where robberies and assaults are common. Initially, Araceli felt anxious about this new public transport system up until her first ride. Muy bonita experiencia. O sea, fue fantástica. To be traveling through the air, it was a fantastic experience. Now my little ones and I use it practically every day. And most of all, I like the feeling of security because when traveling by bus, I never know what my children will experience. The commuter cable car, North America's first, was inaugurated in early October. Officials hope to move around 29,000 people a day along the 4.8-kilometer route. The $90 million private-public project seeks to ease traffic congestion caused by rapid urban growth while beautifying the area to attract tourist dollars. Some residents say that they could never have imagined that their neighborhood would ever look like this. Once gritty and gray, the gondola and its spin-off projects have given the area a colorful makeover. More than 8% of the system's workers live in the local community. For single mom Alberta Sanchez, that means having more time with her family, one reason she's proud to be part of the project. Bueno, yo me siento orgullosa. I feel really good because they've provided jobs to those of us who live in neighborhoods close by. It's very convenient and we avoid long commutes that used to be necessary. The cable car is touted as an environmentally friendly solution to mass transit. The gondola prevents 4,500 tons of carbon dioxide being released into the atmosphere every day, and that makes a major impact. It's like stopping 15,000 automobiles from circulating every day. As urban cable cars attract more interest from city planners around the world, this form of commuting could be about to take off. David Mercer, Al Jazeera, Ecatepec, Mexico.